Okay, so to be able to test the range, I need a place. So the place, um, you know, I could do with having the thing high up, having the transmitter high up, so as to avoid um, congestion, you know what I mean, houses, trees, whatever else. Uh, or I can have a long straight run, again, without congestion and all that sort of stuff. So a space where there'll be no houses, no trees or anything like that. So I got thinking, I thought, well, I'll have a look at a map and uh, I'll see if anywhere turns up. So the first thing I was thinking is there's a castle. Um, and the castle's in here. It's called Yulo Castle. Apparently it was built in 12, 1257 or something like that. Anyway, this castle here, I was thinking I could go to the top of the castle, put it on the top here, then drive around all around the area, down here, down one of these roads or something, and see how far I could get. But then I thought, well, it's actually not that great. I mean, because uh, if you look at this map here, this very useful map, topography map, you can see that where it is, let me just go back over there, right there, in, the, in between the legs, if you like, of this, it's um, it's lower than its surroundings, and obviously we'd be in a radio shadow if we were to do that, and that's not ideal. So I thought, forget that. Um, but an interesting castle anyway. I was kind of looking forward to, to going to the castle, but, you know, if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. So... Um, so yeah, that's that. So we'll get rid of that. So the next place I was thinking was, um, I thought, well, let's go back to the map and let's look for the highest place around here. And the highest place around here was, uh, this place here called Rosses Moor. You can see that it is actually quite high. So I was thinking of going to the top of this thing here, pouring it over there and then driving all around this road here and see how far I can get. And this uh, this place, uh, let's have a quick look over here, it turns out to be there, inside there. But the problem is with this is look at the roads. So I could put it at the top there but the roads, um, you know, again the roads aren't ideal. And then I was thinking, well okay, let's have a look for somewhere maybe not high up but straight and I thought ah I've got an idea and um, there's a river here called the River Dee and um, basically it goes into Chester and I don't really know much about it but a long time ago they had people dig this out way 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 before I was born I would imagine it be in the early 1900s or something they had this dug out um, and straightened and um, as you can see, that would be ideal. Now if you go back over here to the map, you can see that of course there's no elevation, it's all pretty much the same, so that would be perfect. And uh, what's more is that there are several little places that I could put the, um, the transmitter. So there's a place here, B, uh, and then over the other side there are two more bridges and finally Harden Bridge which is over here. So there are lots of different um, places and I thought this would be perfect. So if we have a look at the scale, I don't know if it'll say, measure distance from there to, I don't know, about there, the measure distance to here, you can see that it's 7.65 kilometers and um, that should be perfect. Okay, so I've got the transmitter in the bag and I've got the receiver on my car and I'm going to um, go up to the other bridge in a few minutes. Well, in fact, go to this bridge and tie the uh, bag onto it. Then I go to the other bridge and uh, walk along with this and see if it receives. Okay, so I put it in this little bag and tied it to a rail. And I'll just check that it's blinking. Yep, it's definitely blinking. And it's flat. It's definitely flat. So, let's see. So this is Harden Bridge, and you can see the uh, the estuary over there. So what we've got to do next is go down here, right down to the other end of the river, just before the bend in Chester, and we want to see if it can um, still receive. So we'll go down there now in the car, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm here on the higher ferry bridge, and it's blinking. So the transmitter is way, way, way down there. Uh, let's see if we can see one of the bridges. No, we can't. 
but um, yeah, the transmitter is way down there, so it works perfectly, and um, from what I remember, that's five miles, uh, seven kilometres, but I'll double check that in a minute anyway. But yeah, that's extremely powerful. Um, so what I'm thinking now is, if it copes with that no problem, and it is, one a second, how about if we try and go a bit further down there? So in a bit, the um, the river bends towards Chester, so obviously uh, that wouldn't really be suitable. But I'm thinking I should walk down there now and, um, and try it. Okay, so now we're at the bend of the river. Um, so there's the River Dee, you can see it just bending into Chester and as you can see it's still blinking every second um, so that's extremely far um, for a transmitter and receiver especially a low power one like this anyway so it's receiving the hello message every second and yeah, we're very very far away so um, yeah, I'm very impressed with this, uh, it's extremely powerful um, so when I go home um, I'll find out exactly what distance this is and you know that it covers that distance it could probably go even further but um, yeah that's good enough for me okay so here's Harden Bridge here this t let's just zoom into there and I'll add the uh, distance measuring thing there then let's zoom out a bit so there are two bridges there or two or three bridges which I suppose form a light obstruction then we've got the footbridge over here which is initially the one I was going to go to and did go to but then I walked down here and I went to here where these little containers are and this is where I finished so distance to here um, 7.91 kilometers or 4.91 miles and there we go Okay, so um, once again, these are the Rayax RYLR890 transceivers, and they are transceivers. I use this one to transmit and this one to receive, but they're actually transceivers. They can both transmit and receive, um, so that's really cool. You can use them for a massive amount of different things. You can use them to control motors, contactors, uh, robots, possibly drones and all that sort of stuff, radio-controlled um, toys or anything can use them for almost anything. They're really easy to use too and they are so reliable uh, and so uh, stable uh, that it's brilliant. So um, so once again I'd like to say thanks to Rayax for getting in touch with me and uh, sending me these modules and um, if you'd like to try them out I'll leave a link in the description and, um, and you can check them out. Um, so yeah, as usual, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.